Hey friends, welcome to another video. Long time no see, but today I have a very motivating video for you guys. As you guys see, we'll be cleaning out the deep freezer. So if you have not tackled that, this is a perfect opportunity to get that done. Also, we'll be getting some dishes done along with just some tidying up. I'll have a haul as well. And I'll also be showing you guys all of the decorations that we have put out into the front yard. It is so cool. And I hope you guys enjoy today's video. Welcome to Clear Them Refresh. If you are new here, welcome. And if you're a returning subscriber, welcome back. So here on my channel, I do all things cleaning, DIY, home decor, and organization. If that is the type of content you enjoy, then please consider subscribing before you go. Also follow me over on Instagram. I will have all the information down in the description box for you guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and get cleaning. So honestly, I did not Think I was gonna be filming this day so I had already kind of pre started to take everything out of the deep freezer it was something that was going to get done but I wasn't planning on filming but then I was like you know this is perfect um, maybe this will motivate somebody to get out in their garage and clean out their deep freezer but that was definitely something that needed to get done here you guys will see just how gross it was at the bottom from ice cream melting um, to popsicles popping open it was just a mess and I was just like, yeah, no, it is time to get this squared away. So that is what I started off with by just taking everything out. My kid was so excited, you guys, when I pulled out all these <laughs> like popsicles that I had found that weren't open at the bottom and he had a field day. But um, I just went ahead and got all the plastic and all that stuff from off the bottom. And then I went ahead and tipped it over and just uh, use the water hose to quickly melt it. I like this method because of the fact that I don't have to wait and um, and wait for the ice to defrost all the way. I know that's probably the better way, but I don't got time for that, you guys. Like, let's be honest. So now I'm just gonna go ahead and disinfect, spray it down really good. It is out in the garage, so I'm not anticipating it to be clean for forever, at least on the outside but I like to just give it a really good wipe down. So once I was done with that, I'm just gonna go ahead and move it back into its place. But before I do, I'm gonna sweep behind here because while it's out, why not go ahead and clean everything um, before I put it back. And then we're just gonna put everything back in. I'm also gonna go ahead and use the racks. You'll see in just a bit, I'm gonna put those back in this deep freezer. I had took them out and I actually used them as storage. You guys probably seen them multiple times in my son's room for his books and stuff like that. But we recently did a declutter in his room. So there was no need for the racks um, on the wall anymore. And it was perfect timing. So I just went ahead and moved those back into the deep freezer and was able to organize um, all of our packs of like meat and Uncrustables and all that stuff you guys will see in just a bit. I absolutely love how 
this turned out. Everything is so organized. And I just put all of the quicker things over to the side, all of the main meats, like the ribs and stuff like that, down at the bottom in the bigger, bulkier things like our uh, large bag of uh, tater tots at the bottom as well. And then all of the smaller items that the kids can just go in there and grab really quick, like the Hot Pockets, ice cream on Crustables kind of stuff that went in the best in the baskets and then i also organized like our individual meats and i absolutely love it and it's still very very organized So once I was done out in the garage and getting the deep freezer all organized and ready for the new food that would be coming in, I went ahead and took the liberty of going ahead and cleaning out the kitchen. I usually go with my husband to go out grocery shopping on the weekends. Usually we do our grocery runs on the weekends because we're both home. Um, but this particular day, he went out solo and picked up some things. And so you guys will see in a bit um, a haul of just some randoms that we needed to restock here at the house. You're telling me I should go places. You're telling me that I'm too lazy. You are the one that is going crazy. Yeah. Cause you can't even hold your own. But you always know what's wrong. With everyone else, how is that? You gonna have to call your friends, tell them that you're gonna be late, cause I'm gonna need you to explain. There's been a whole lot of trying, whole lot of crying, whole lot of telling me I should be dying or be like you, but I don't wanna be like you. There's been a whole lot of trying, whole lot of crying, whole lot of telling me I should be dying or be like So as I said, once I was done in the kitchen, he had arrived with all of the groceries. So here I'm just taking everything out of the bags and just kind of organizing it so I can give you guys a quick little haul. But the thing I love about, you know, being a content creator and having a supportive partner is that he always takes it into consideration. Like he was ready to put all of this stuff away, but he's like, okay, did you want to film it? Did you, you know, did you want to talk about it? And I'm like, yeah, you could just leave it there, but he will definitely put the groceries and stuff away. And he also cleans up and all that stuff, but he does know that I do film it. So it's just nothing like, you know, having a really supportive partner who is always thinking about what you do. And um, yeah, so, I'm just gonna go ahead and do a quick haul and then we're gonna put everything away. All right, let's go ahead and do a quick Save Mart haul. So the first thing that picked up are some pork ribs. Also these, uh, this is the chicken breast sliders. You get four in each box. And then also the classic cheeseburgers, which are really good. Pick up one more. Um, got some Mike and Ike's um, for a treat for the kids. Got some Tostitos and a lime. Also the Steakhouse Funyuns or Flour Tortilla, the Mission brand. These chicken Caesar salads. These are great for me throughout the day. So some street taco size tortillas. These are the corn tortillas. These we have been loving. These are the soft churro donut bites and they are so good you guys we need to restock on the sweet baby rays got two of those also picked up the limited edition pumpkin spice and this is an almond creamer it's plant-based so that should be pretty good so some florida natural premium lemonade with strawberry got two of those raspberry 
bubbly water along with some strawberry sunset. This is a flavor actually that I have not tried yet. So I'm really excited to try that. Um, to go tuna creations in the lemon pepper and urban garlic and hickory smoke flavors. That is just the quick haul. I wish I had that same conviction. Convinced I never need a fixing. Yeah, that girl really knew her business. Where did she go? Yeah, she thought she could do anything. Thought she could get anywhere. Confident she's number one. And if nothing, everybody's wrong. Used to be calm. Now I can't remember how I used to do it. That I was a member of confidence. Cause that don't last forever I wish I saw what she saw I wish I knew what she knew I love how she just don't But sadly I've grown it I know I'm still So y'all know Halloween is right around the corner And I usually decorate for Halloween But I have gotten a little bit behind and I've been kind of like, do I want to decorate? Do I not want to decorate? So now we're back, I'm back in the mood of trying to create again for Halloween. So that is what I'm currently doing. I already made a couple of thingies. So this is the headless horseman dude. And then I also have an alien in my front yard already. Well, not in my front yard, but in my garden already that I did a few days ago. He's really cute. But yeah, I had gave up that day. I put him out there and I was like, you know what? Nothing is turning out the way that I wanted to. So we're done. <laughs> we're done. Um, but now I'm back in kind of like that creative space again. So I wanted to try to put some stuff together for the house. So we going to see y'all. Druggle. I am trying not to go out and buy anything new. I'm trying to just work with what I got. And usually if I need something new, I just go out and get it. But I'm not doing that this year, okay? Because I have containers that are over here in my garage. Let's see now with this is if it doesn't fit in one of these containers or the containers are full, then I cannot go out and purchase anything else. So until I um, donate or get rid of what's already here, then I got to work with what I got. So, and I have three container full of Halloween stuff. I have still so much to do. I am doing a Scooby-Doo theme, so there's still things I gotta paint. There's still things I gotta create. Pray for me, okay? So I would definitely show you guys kind of like the progress if I remember, but you guys will definitely see how it all turned out. All right, you guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed today's video, give this video a big thumbs up. Also, follow me over on my Instagram. I'll leave that information down in the description box for you guys. And if you enjoy this type of content, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. And I will see you guys in the next one. Bye, you guys.